signals of a safer world. That's what President Biden is saying about his historic summit with the leaders of Japan and South Korea. The world leaders met face to face today, sharing concerns about China and North Korea. Yeah, and in a show of solidarity, Japan's prime minister announcing $2 million to help the recovery efforts in Hawaii. ABC's Justin Finch has more. North of the nation's capital at Camp David, President Biden hosting history. Welcome. The president welcoming Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and South Korea's President Yoon suk yeol for their first ever standalone trilateral summit. America's commitment to both countries is ironclad. Past U.S. presidents have brokered significant international partnerships at Camp David. South Korea's President Yoon calling Biden's summit groundbreaking. Challenges that threaten regional security must be addressed by us building up stronger commitment to working together. The summit comes amid growing global security concerns about China and North Korea. From tensions stemming from Beijing intensifying military exercises near the self-governing island of Taiwan, to Pyongyang's increasing ballistic missile test, only deepening hostilities with South Korea. Though Japan and South Korea are close U.S. allies, the two nations have been historic rivals, with Kishida and Yoon recently working to improve relations. The White House denying Chinese media reports, saying the trilateral talks amount to a mini NATO, insisting their focus is on the greater Indo-Pacific region. The work that we are doing with these two countries uh, is not new. What is new is that we are now stitching all of that work together uh, to try to enhance regional stability and security. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan also declining to confirm a new Research Institute report tying Russia to North Korea's expanding ballistic missile program, saying only that the White House is concerned and that the intelligence community is investigating. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.